So when we hired the car, we actually got this little cute map of Tazi and today we are going to an island called Bruni Island. So right now we are in Hobart and we have to go to Catherine to basically take the ferry down to Bruni Island. So right now we are in the Kettering Ferry Terminal. It costs about $38 from here to go to Bruni Island and then return. But just to remember, uh, the last ferry that departs from Bruni Island around 7 p.m. if I'm not wrong there. So just be careful if you're not staying overnight there or you don't have accommodation in Bruni Island. You may get stuck there if you spend too long in Bruni Island. So make sure you plan your day well. Now our boat here uh, leaves at around 12 o'clock midday. It's around 11.43 in the morning at the moment, but yeah, it's this nice and sunny day. It's gonna be fun. Never been on a transfer boat before, but there's always a first for everything. personal driver of the day while I'm actually enjoying myself at the back with this sunny from TIJN thank you so much guys for gifting us this one it's so cool and fashionable especially during this day trip to Bruni Island and next stop is Get Shark Oyster I'm gonna change Nick's perception of oyster because oyster is so good especially from Tasmania So we got the half dozen of naked oyster and also some sauces which is tomato vinegar, um, Asian fusion and also the wasabi sour cream. So now because I want to change Nick's perception of oyster, I'm gonna let him to try first. So people have been telling me that Tazi oyster is one of the best here in Australia so I'm gonna give that a go. It's a lemon. Huh? It's a lemon. Oh yeah. You forgot the lemon. I forgot the lemon. Alright, let's scoop that out. Ooh, it's so soft. Mmm. Wow. It's like really salty. Uh, and it's not that fishy too, so that you know that it's fresh. Usually the one that I usually eat in the Sydney fish market, that can be kind of strong, but this is nice, smooth, and kind of like mushy creamy too. It's really, really nice. Well, I've been to Tasmania about seven years ago, and that's when I discovered how delicious oyster is. So, and this is actually Nick's first time going to Tasmania. And yeah, this mission is like changing Nick's perception of oyster. Let's try this tomato vinegar. Maybe put some. Mm. You know, they actually. Some of the places have like the baked cheese as well. I love to try one. Mm. Oh. Mm. The oyster is so fresh, so like creamy, and then you can taste like the salt water. And the tomato vinegar is like so refreshing, it complements the oyster very well. I love Tazi oyster. This is like the first oyster of the trip, Nick. Just across from Getchuk is this little beach area here. It's kind of low tide, so you can see how shallow everything is, and I can see people walking by. Oh, this is actually really nice. 
it's so blue and then you got like that green kind of color because it's so shallow amazing contrast just beautiful this is so beautiful and the water is actually quite warm so oh my god i wish i can dip in you wish you can swim i wish i can swim about a minute away from get shuck is bruni island cheese company well look tell me you've convinced me that the oyster here are great and totally love it but this is my kind of stop the cheese kind of stop you forgot the beer, Nick. This is cheese and beer company. So, perfect combo. Okay, great. Who doesn't and love a good old beer, right? Yes, and look at this. This is so outback. I love it. It's so outdoor. Jesus. Look, look, there's like the molded one there. You got them. Oh, they got the, mold, they, they got the molded one down there. Can you see that? Yeah. The green one there? Yeah. So, it's like a fridge full of cheese. Fridge full of cheese. Look at this. Oh, that's gonna be smelly, but it's gonna be so good. Just ordered a beer paddle here, it's $12. My gosh, love this. Got some explanation of what each one is. Not too sure, there's farm ale, honey pale ale, barrel ale, lighthouse ale, and then the last one is called oxymoron, which is a dark pale ale. I don't I know. That one. Beer is always good for me, especially when it's hot like this. And then we got the cheese platter coming in as well. Oh, just a good combination to eat with beer and cheese. Not wine, beer. Ah. So good. I think this is the honey pell ale. Mm. Oh wow, that's really strong creamy cheese. Love it. You got the olive oil, it really makes it really smooth. The top part has a little bit of a salt and also some herbs as well. Really tastes a little bit like a garlic bread there in the top part. It's really nice. Hmm. All right, so we are on the bottom of the neck. So this is a very famous um, I guess icon of Tasmania. If you go tourism of Tasmania, you'll see this one. So it's basically like a narrow road and connecting between the upper island and the lower island. And also there's like two beaches surrounded. So it's so beautiful. Let's go up. You can get up to the top of the lookout. There's a lot of stages going up there, but from up there, you can see down and the view is going to be fantastic. We're going to go up there. We're going to check it out. This is probably very iconic as Helmy is saying. Another place that you guys should check out is probably Adventure Bay if you guys are here kind of earlier on the day because you can go on this kind of boat tour which takes you on the outer skirt of the Bruni Island. You go down south by the boat, you have a, like a little bit of a tour. I think it's about like a two or three hour tour. At the moment, it's around four o'clock right now. Definitely have to catch the last ferry back, so I don't think we'll have time for that tour. But if you guys are staying overnight here in Bruni Island, definitely worth to check out Adventure Beach here, the area here. I just love how calm the waters are because it's a bay, so there's not many waves around here, but the water's clear and it's just nice to go for a little dip. But we forgot our swimmers back at the hotel, so oh well, no swimming today. Alright, so now we are in Bruni Lighthouse, but have you seen this view? Oh my god, so beautiful, look! 
We're walking up now towards the lighthouse. It is the last final tour that we're gonna do here in Bruni Island. It's quite far away from everything else. It's about, I think, 40 minutes there from the lookout, but it is damn worth it. Look at the views around me. It's just incredible and stunning. So this is it, the southern tip of Australia. And as you can see, the view is amazing, incredible. Oh my gosh, like this picture is so beautiful. Wow, now we gotta head back very quickly because the last ferry leaves here, Bruni Island around 7.15. So it is around five o'clock right now. It's about, I think 45 to an hour, uh, right back from the lighthouse back to the ferry terminal. So hopefully we can catch it in time. Finally, after next fast and furious driving, we made it. So this is the last ferry from Bruni Island to Hobart. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. If you do, give thumbs up and stay tuned for the next week because it's gonna be another epic Tasmania series. See ya!